Nation. Welcome back everybody and good morning. Here's a live look outside right now over the Fort Henry Bridge. Traffic starting to pick up if you're heading eastbound into parts of Wheeling, Elm Grove, downtown, Tridelphia, anything like that heading eastbound. It is going to be quite the, the busy commute. Now also there is some fog out there so take it easy and there's also a lot of deer on the side of the roads. They're in the rut right now. They'll run out in the middle of the road if uh, two of those bucks are fighting over a female deer or just some territory. So just keep in mind, you see them on the side of the road, make sure your eyes are scanning from left to right as you're driving out and about along I-70 this morning. Frost advisory for parts of Guernsey, Noble, Tyler County. We're gonna still deal with a frosty morning once again tomorrow morning. So just keep in mind if uh, the temperatures get in the mid 30s and we see that lack of wind speed, you're gonna wake up to some frost. If the wind is a light and variable still and our temperatures are in the lower 40s, upper 30s, well, you're going to be waking up to some fog. That's why we're mainly seeing fog this morning. A few of us, very few, waking up to some frost, and that's due to the lack of wind speed. The cold air is leaving us. There's the good news. Warm air is moving in as we head into the weekend. Yay, everybody's happy about the warm air, but how long is it going to last? Well, for right now, at least uh, looking at models, this is going to last at least up until almost Halloween, and then we're going to keep an eye on this. This is cold air. It's going to pull down, but it's going to become a cutoff low. So anytime this happens, that means it disconnects. It loses its connection to that cold air, which was pulling all that cold air down. So it kind of cuts it off. It says, you know what? I don't really want to travel all the way down to Phoenix. I'm actually just going to go over Billings, Montana. I'm trying to go over this way. So that's what's going to happen with our air. It's going to leave that all down there into the Midwest, and we're really not going to tap into any cold air for quite some time. So there's a look at cloud coverage dissipating right around 10 o'clock. We'll head through the rest of your evening. Skies are clear. The clear skies will allow for another chilly start. So the warm, moist water is going to move down. We call that advection fog. It settles in and then wake up to a little bit of a foggy morning. Now the wind speed dies down. If the temperatures are between the mid 30s, then you'll wake up to some frost. If not, light wind out there will just stick around with the fog up until about 10 a.m. We clear out for the rest of your week. It looks fabulous. Saturday and a Sunday, we warm all the way back up into the 70s. So here's a look at it Saturday and Sunday hanging out right around 73 degrees. Now the main change or the big takeaway, I guess, is the overnight lows. The overnight lows as we step into Sunday are back over the 40 degree mark and we continue. We continue to warm up for those overnight lows even heading through next week. If you guys want to head over to Morgantown, maybe you're trying to catch the game WVU taking on Kansas State. Here's what to expect. Kickoff is right around 730, so 1930 in your evening. Temperatures are going to be right around 61 degrees, completely clear skies. And that trend continues through the night. So that's going to create, once again, a chilly overnight low, but not quite as cold as what we've dealt with. So hopefully you're acclimated to those chilly overnight lows because it's actually going to feel rather nice when you're hanging out there. Saturday into Sunday, we're still in the 73 degree mark. Overnight lows are still in the 40s. Monday into Tuesday, we start to warm back up even further. We're all the way into the mid to upper 70s by Tuesday. Some spots even hit hitting the 80 degree mark, places like Moundsville. So that's going to be exciting to look forward to before we start to cool back off heading through the middle of the next week. Make sure you guys stick around.